Jesus, look at that. I pushed it so hard, I've burst all the blood vessels in the arm there. Don't ever tell me I don't work for it. What's up guys, and I don't quite know why I'm doing this to myself today, but today we've chosen to test or give ourselves a baseline for our fitness and where we're at. There are fights coming my way very soon. I've got to start really hammering down and making sure I'm pushing my cardio as well as working that muscle. So I've got a workout for you guys that you can throw into your weekly routine once or twice a week to help push your cardio and develop that functionality. And it's known as the 300 workout. So this is our setup for the 300 workout. We have a deadlift bar. We have an area to lie down and be comfortable with a little bit of boxes either side that the bar's gonna go on later. We have a 20 plates either side on the deadlift bar. We have a 16 kilogram dumbbell, which can also be replaced with a kettlebell. And we have a place to do pull-ups. <laughs> so this is exactly what we're gonna be using. So this workout's gonna consist of 300 total reps. It's a time-based thing. So what we're looking for is to get through this as quick as we can with proper form. So we're not bucketeering around here and just bouncing things up. We're looking to make it work and make it hard. And we're giving ourselves a baseline to aim to improve on time after time. You're going to be doing six exercises, 50 reps per exercise. We're going to be starting on pull-ups. So however you want to do these, we're going to be looking for a big, nice pull-up all the way down and coming back up to the top. 25 of those to start with. From there, we're going to move on deadlifts so we've got 20 kilos aside on here which is 60 kilos in total which is around about 132 pounds 50 reps on the deadlift so try not to be bouncing around in there be careful make them strict explode through from this we then move on to clean and press 25 reps per arm now we've got 16 kilogram dumbbell here because there isn't a 16 kilogram kettlebell and this is like kind of the allocated weight for this workout so if you don't have a kettlebell, dumbbell's fine. If you have a kettlebell, even better. The clean and press, obviously, we're gonna be looking, driving through the hips, bringing it up, boom, up to the shoulders and explode through 25 reps. However you wanna get through it, I'm probably gonna break that down into five to 10 rep portions. Once we've done that, we then move on to push-ups. Nice and simple, body weight push-ups, 50 of those. Once they're done, we're gonna take the bar, we're gonna put it up onto the steps, slide underneath, and from here what we're going to do is a movement called floor cleaner. So we're going to get up, press the bar, hold it, feet, then lifting up, touch down, scoop round, touch. Boom. That's your floor cleaners. 50, 25 reps per side. These are here to stop you decapitating yourself. From there, what you can do is 24 inch box jumps, but as I don't believe a lot of people have access to those, what we're going to add in is burpees. Be careful on these because we don't want to be slamming our hips into the floor on a hard surface. We also want to be controlling the core to not hyperextend the back. What we're going to look to do, we're going to kick the legs out into a press-up position. Boom. Then drive up and then a tuck jump. Bang. 50 of those. I think that's a fair swap out for a box jump. And once you've died on the burpees and someone's dragged your ass back off the floor, we come back to where we started. 25 reps on those pull-ups which are gonna be the absolute killer of the day. These are where you're gonna really slow down. You're gonna end up doing maybe single reps at a time, but this is it. This is the whole purpose of this workout, is it's a grinder, it's a boundary pusher. It's a humbling thing to put yourself through. And you can either do this, honestly, and just accept the time that you get and aim to beat it, or you can cheat and just try and get as quick as you can to boast to your friends. But who are you hurting? Only yourselves on that one. So for me today, this is going to be raw. I'm going to set that timer. I'm going to let it go and I'm going to get what I'm going to get. When you get good at this, sub 15 minutes is what people have achieved. I genuinely think it's going to take me about 25 minutes today. Just am. I don't feel like I've optimized my, I've just decided to do this. I haven't optimized, I haven't eaten properly. We haven't eaten properly all week. We've done a lot of filming yesterday. We stayed up late. I've got a possible fractured finger that doesn't really bend properly right now after we did an epic build for the Game of Thrones release that you will have seen already, link in the description. But it doesn't matter. It is what it is. We're going to give ourselves this baseline and we're going to repeat this once a month maybe, something like that, and see where we get. And we're going to follow these times and see how much we can improve. 
And in the meantime, you're gonna get one hell of a workout. So if you accept this challenge, I want you to post up your times in the comment section what you've done or just post that you're gonna give this a go and then come back and let us know the times you've got. I've hit a couple of rice cakes prior to get myself a bit of quick glycogen in there. I got water on hand, make sure that's close by for you to grab and sip at any given moment and make sure you're hydrated prior to doing this. I can't tell you how intense this really is. And again, we wanna be pushing those boundaries and really fighting that quit in your head because the body will follow the mind. So let's start developing the mind and this is a great way of doing it as long as getting one hell of a workout. Plus, we're looking at doing this in under half an hour for your first run. So if you push your time, this is a great option. I'm not lying though, when I say I'm genuinely dreading this. Uh, music loud, head down. Here we go, Jay. Come on then, come on then. Let the competition feed this beast Line them up, knock them down Built from nothing all the way up breaking this ground Two, two bitch, two uh, Yeah, motherfucker Get up. Come on. 
something. No stop. No stopping, bitch. Come on. No stopping, bitch. No stopping, bitch. Come on. No. Come on. Stop it. Ah, fucking move. All right, third day. So much lactic acid. Ah, everything burns. Ah, come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Ah, two more. Come on. Four more sets of five, come on. Come on. There's no pain. There's no pain. Come on. Oh fuck. There's lots of pain. That's the pain. Come on, bitch. Make that time up. Ha! How long? How long? Man. Oh, oh, oh. Gee, yes. Minus three seconds, two seconds. So we call it one, 44. Oh, sorry, 16. Oh. On your feet. Come on. On your feet. Oh. 16, 44. That's good oh, going, yeah. bro. There you go. You got a raw, huh? Raw. So you can see how I'd bust in my ass on that. No bullshitting. Full pain, full movements, as best as I was knowledgeable. I was cheating nothing to the best of my ability. And a few fuck ups on my body and repairing at the moment, so I fully expect to be able to beat that sub 15. Give this a fucking go. I challenge you. The Lex challenge. Give it a go. Put your honest times below whether it's 15 minutes or 55 minutes I don't care I just care that you've given this a go this is all about mental boundary pushing being real with yourself setting yourself realistic targets and fucking smashing through them if you like this video give me a thumbs up just for the lack of swearing alone <laughs> I held in a lot of swearing I held in a lot of swearing but the nipples have been truly free I hope you've enjoyed this one if you enjoyed the workout We'll be back to repeat this in a couple of months' time. And also, next video an update, or maybe before this, I don't fucking know. I just signed for a goddamn boxing match. Let's raise some money for charity. And let's fucking have somebody take these hands. Ooh, ha. Ha. Lately I've been doing shit different. Cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen. Had to make a move, had to make a little distance. A lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision. Well, fuck that, tell them bounce.